Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. All right, autumn is here in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, yeah, it is fall and it's crisp and it's been gorgeous where I live. Um, and I wanna talk a little bit about the holiday season that's coming up. Uh, I'm definitely feeling the approach of the holidays. I imagine I'm not alone in that. Um, and I wanna start off by saying, um, I'm in America, so the holidays I'm thinking about are Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Um, and you know, if you're in another country that doesn't celebrate one or more or all of those holidays, if you follow a faith tradition where those holidays are irrelevant, um, then you know, hold this vlog loosely. But you might want to think about how it translates to when you have your own celebrations that you're engaging in, because a lot of it's going to really be um, applicable to holidays and celebrations in any culture at any time of year, in any faith tradition, pretty much across the board. So um, I want to focus on Halloween that's coming up. And I know that that's sort of an American thing, but um, you know, other countries are starting to co-opt it. I lived in Australia for a couple of years and uh, it wasn't the thing it is in America, but they, um, you know, it's kind of a fun thing, right? Like let's get dressed up. And so they were starting to do it a little bit in, in Australia, so maybe, Halloween's made it to your country, not sure, but in America it's definitely a thing. So um, first of all, I just want to say that uh, I've done a vlog on Halloween before and it was very much focused on um, how do you handle your kids and the sugar consumption. And if you want to search for that um, at the website brightlineeating.com forward slash blog, uh, you can search for that uh, blog. You just put Halloween into the search function and it'll come right up. So um, I've covered that topic. I'm not going to talk about that today. What I want to talk about is how do you ha handle your Halloween? Um, and I've got four tips for you. Um, and at least two of them are completely applicable to any holiday or really any um, major event or special occasion or trip or anything like that. So the first tip is you got to get your mindset right. Coming into the holidays, um, expect that your saboteur will be on your shoulder trying to navigate some exceptions. Just expect it. Like that's your saboteur's job is to get you off track, gorging your face, weight ballooning up, taking your comfort and food, all bets are off. And this time of year is like the best ammunition in the world for your saboteur. You can't stay true to Brightline eating through the holidays. Are you kidding me? Like, of course you've got to find some way to get a little extra. Where will our comfort come from? How will we feel the vibe of the holidays if we're not, you know, doing a little something, something? Come on. So this is your saboteur. It's going to be like on you, just nipping at your heels. And what I want to say is, you absolutely can stick to your bright lines all the way through the holidays every single day exactly as you do on any other day. And the holidays will be more enjoyable for it. You'll feel free, you'll feel happy, you'll feel confident, you'll be focusing on the people, it'll be amazing. And you'll be investing in future years when the holidays roll around and your saboteur is pretty quiet. Like my saboteur actually has not even made a play yet for you got to make an exception, the holidays are coming. Not even a single one. Like I'm looking forward to a way to measure Thanksgiving. I'm uh, thinking about my kids and how I'm going to get them to bed on time on Halloween because it's a school night and their costumes, have we bought all the supplies? Like really candy's not even on my radar screen. I'm sure we'll buy some. I'm sure they'll eat a bunch, but not, not my monkey, not my circus. <laughs> um, yeah, and like Christmas parties, whatever. I go and I eat my food, my, you know, bright line food, just like I do. So my saboteur isn't saying, but I've got 14 years of holidays under my belt where I have, and this is, this is kind of true. Um, I, it's hard to believe, but it is true. I have never eaten off my food plan on any major holiday or birthday ever in 14 years. I've never eaten birthday cake on my birthday or my kids' birthdays or my husband's birthday or anybody's birthday in 14 years. I've never even eaten candy on Halloween. I've never eaten off my food plan on Thanksgiving. I've never eaten anything at a Christmas party ever in 14 years. Now, you know, if you follow me, that doesn't mean my food's been perfect in 14 years. I break my food plan on a lazy Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> um, but holidays are squeaky clean for me. So 
I have some money in the bank when it comes to that and my saboteur isn't even trying to game me, like it's, it's quiet. So you can have that piece too. If you sort of weather, you know, a couple rounds of holidays, you can actually get to the place where you know that you can make it through a holiday. It's not a big deal. Um, and you're not, it's funny, like you're not even thinking about it in any other terms. So um, what I wanna say is just to remind you of the logic. This is a logic we go by here in Bright Line Eating and it's, I just wanna say, I think it's really true. If you buy into the fallacy that you can't keep to a food regimen, a food discipline, your bright lines, um, because it's a holiday, because it's your birthday, because it's your partner's birthday, because it's your daughter's birthday, because you're going on a cruise, because it's Valentine's Day, because it's 4th of July and there's a picnic, because, do you see? Like, you're always sliding off, which often involves being off for more than just that one moment, right? Not always, but often and then having to get back on. And all of those indiscretions together keep you from getting into a right-sized body and living there. There is no way to live in a right-sized body when you're thinking that a special occasion means an exception. Not if you're watching my vlog. I mean, I know there's people out there who do that, who live that way. They're not watching my vlog. <laughs> That's not those people, right? Like, if, if you could live in a right-sized body doing that, you would have been there already, right? That's what you, That's basically how your mind's been working this whole time, right? So it's, it's not gonna happen until you get like on board with the fact that Thanksgiving is a Thursday. It's just a Thursday. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Way to measured, you know? Good thing, you know, most Thanksgiving foods are bright line friendly. Like it's not actually hard to get a bright line meal on Thanksgiving. Okay, so back to Halloween. That's the first thing is mindset. My first tip is check your mindset and listen for the whisper of your saboteur and call it out. Say like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to hear that talking smack. I'm gonna stick to my bright lines today. Or reach out to someone in the bright line eating community and say, okay, my saboteur has really got me by the short hairs. Here's what I'm thinking I might need to do for you know, this holiday that's coming up and um, it's, it's sounding like probably a bad idea. I probably shouldn't make all those exceptions that I'm thinking about making, so help me. Reach out, get support. All right, so that's number one. Get your mindset straight. Talk back to your saboteur. Don't buy its line of reasoning, okay? Number two is um, I suggest you consider skipping Halloween altogether. Like, it's a good night to go to the movies. Just keep the house dark. Don't buy you know, a bag of, of candy to put in a bowl to put, just don't, just don't miss it. Just skip the kids in their cute costumes and just, if you can, if you're so situated that like you don't have little kids who'd be heartbroken or whatever, if you just skipped Halloween, just skip it. If you're so situated that you can do it, I highly recommend it. Just take the day off, make it a self-care day. You know, I don't know if spas are open on Tuesday evening, but schedule some time at the spa, go for a walk with a friend, go to the movies, keep the house dark, just skip it all together. So my third tip is, well, what if you're not gonna do that? What if you can't? Um, either because you have little kids or because there's a Halloween party that you really wanna go to legitimately to see good friends or whatever. In that case, be careful with your focus. Halloween in its best form has nothing to do with candy. It has to do with um, taboo and costumes and creativity and spookiness and um, outlandishness and fun and sneakiness, right? That's the spirit of Halloween. Get into that spirit. Think about your costume, your kids' costumes. Think about the fun. Think about the party. Think about, um, think about ways to get into the spirit of Halloween that have nothing to do with candy. It's not about candy. It's about, you know, um, it's about that wickedness, you know, tap your inner uh, demon and go out there and have a blast on Halloween. Halloween is fun. So if you're gonna do it, then do it and get into it and have a blast and have fun and ignore the not my food. It's got nothing to do with it, right? It's about people, it's about connection. And this is true for all holidays. They're a time to feel a part of our culture. It's a time to feel a part of other people. It's a time to connect with other people. So if you're gonna do anything for Halloween, make sure you're focusing on the people. If all you're gonna do is accept trick-or-treaters, which again, if that's all you're gonna do for Halloween, I suggest you skip it, actually. But if you don't want to and you want to have trick-or-treaters come to your house, then make it be about those sweet kids and honor them and their costumes and just 
focus on the people and gratitude for your neighborhood spirit. It's like one day of the year when people are out walking through the neighborhood, interacting with each other, ringing each other's doorbells. It's a time for the whole neighborhood to get together. That's what I want you to focus on on Halloween, right? It's not a food holiday, it's a connection holiday. All holidays, fundamentally, are connection holidays. They're not food holidays, they're connection holidays. Food is a poor proxy for connection. That's what we've, it's, it's like a horrible substitute for real connection and it's what we settle for all the time and shame on us. So let the food go and get back to the real connection. The eye contact, the smiles, the teasing, the laughing. That's what I want you to focus on, all right? So that was tip number three. Tip number four is the ever important concept of re-entry. So just because you made it through the day doesn't mean you're scot-free. I need you to focus on the days after Halloween because your willpower, if, if you engage with the holiday at all, or maybe even if you don't engage just through the, you know, just knowing it's happening and that triggering thoughts in your head and maybe some commercials on TV triggering thoughts in your head. So your willpower has been depleted by exposure to all that stuff and you're going into the next days with willpower depletion and visions of sugar plums dancing in your head like you've been exposed to all that not my food so um, you need to get more support get enough sleep make more bright line eating connections whether that's phone calls or reaching out to the people around you who do bright line eating if you're in um, our boot camp or ever have been connecting your facebook house right get more support in the days after so just as an example of how we um, bring that principle to life in Bright Line Eating, in Bright Lifers, which is our group of people who've been through the boot camp and choose to stay on with us um, forever and ever for life, our Bright Lifers, um, and we've got thousands of them now. In Bright Lifers, which we have a Facebook group, right? Um, we've been doing a, a, a celebration, a festival called Octobly Fest. Octobly, B-L-E, Octobly Fest, Bright Line Eating, B-L-E. Octobly Fest, okay. So for Octobly Fest, the game is from October 1st and on, you post every day, and we've got hundreds of people doing this, hundreds and hundreds, that you've been sticking with your bright lines consecutively all through October, and every day um, I call one of the people off that list. So people have sort of a random chance of getting a spontaneous phone call from me. I get the benefit of connecting with people in our community, and people are motivated to stick with their bright lines. Again, we have hundreds of people doing this. It's super fun. But do you know when Octoberly Fest ends? Not October 31st. Octoberly Fest ends for us on November 5th because of reentry. Like you gotta factor in reentry. Like Halloween's not over until November 5th in my mind. Like that's when the residue of all that not my food is finally out of your system. Not the sugar, like you didn't eat any of that stuff, right? But I mean just the residue of the exposure to it in our society. Octo uh, November 5th. So that's just an example of how I think about holidays is you got to create a buffer zone on the end of them because you're going to be weakened. You're going to be weakened. All right. So those are my tips for getting through Halloween. I'm going to be with my kids. They're going to be a princess, a princess, and a sorcerer. <laughs> Zoe's the sorcerer. <laughs> and, um, and it's going to be fun. And I think that night I'm going to be hosting um, or like a guest speaker or whatever on a coaching call for the Food Revolution uh, Network. So Ocean Robbins and John Robbins and I are going to be talking and stuff. Uh, they're going to be interviewing me for something. So after the kids go to bed, so my whole focus is how do I make sure I get the kids to bed in time with the Halloween brouhaha to make sure I can get on that call in time after they go to bed. So that's it. Literally, so far, no thoughts of, of not my food. So um, anyway. You can do it. If I've done it for 14 years, you can do it. If it's your first year, awesome. If you've had Bright Line Eating successful holidays, post down below and let me know. Let everybody else know that it's doable and it's worth it because um, your saboteur is going to want to tell you that you'll feel better if you take a break from your Bright Lines on the holiday and it's such a lie. It's such a lie. You will feel so much better if you stick to your Bright Lines on the holiday. So much better. Like orders of magnitude better. So join with me. Let's have Octobly Fest together. Let's stick to our bright lines, squeaky clean, all the way through that holiday, all the way to November 5th, and I'll see you next week.